hey everyone in this video we look at how to create custom weapons in fs shooter system asset so in the kickstart video we learned about the basic setup of this asset and we looked at all the default weapons that comes with the asset so now let's look at how we can set up a custom weapon so that you'll be able to add any weapons you want okay so to create a shooter weapon First, we have to create a scriptable object like this. So let me just create a different folder for our new weapon. I'll just call it something like new weapon tutorial. Okay. And in here, I'll go ahead and create the scriptable object for our weapon. So I'll go to create shooter system and click on create weapon. Okay. So I'll be creating a simple rifle. So I'll name this as rifle. And we have our scriptable object over here. Okay. So I'll just give it a name. And we can also give a description, an icon and all that. Okay. So let me just give it an icon. So next we can define the attributes of this weapon. So here we have things like fire frequency, magazine size, projectile speed, damage, and all that. So let's say I want the fire frequency of the rifle to be something like 0.1 second. And magazine size is the number of ammo the weapon can hold before reloading it again. Okay, so I'll set it to something like 30. And projectile speed is the speed at which the ammo will be shot. So I'll set it to something like 1000. And I'll keep the damage at zero. Instead, I'll be giving the damage on the ammo of this weapon. Okay. So when creating new weapons, you can always compare it with the weapons that comes with the asset. All right. You can compare the values of these weapons. So back to our new rifle weapon. Next, let's look at the equipment configuration. So here I'll change the equipment slot to range weapon. So this will be useful if you are using the shooter system along with our inventory system. And then I'll check unequip during actions. So this will unequip the item when the character is performing an action. So for example, if you're using this asset with our parkour and climbing system, then the character will unequip this rifle before performing a parkour action. All right, so for small weapons like pistols, you really don't have to unequip it, but for weapons like these, we do have to unequip. All right, so next we can specify the animations that the character should play while holding the rifle. So here we can specify the idle animation. So I'll just search for a rifle idle animation that I have. All right, and then we also have to set a few more animations here under the animation settings. So these two settings, general settings and equipment configuration is common for all our items, not just shooter weapons. So if you have melee combat system and if you look at a sword, they'll have the same settings, but these settings are specific for shooter weapons. So that's why these animations are at separate fold outs. Okay. So we also have to specify the aim, reload, and shoot animation clips. So let me just assign them. I'll search for rifle aim. And next I'll assign the rifle reload. And finally, I'll assign the rifle shoot. Okay. So here uh, you can preview the animation if you want. All right. So this is the aim and this is the reload and this is shooting okay so next let's go to the weapon settings so here we have to specify the ammo so the ammo will be a separate scriptable object like a weapon so let's go ahead and create our ammo so i'll go to create shooter system and i'll create the ammo I'll call this rifle ammo and here I'll just give it a name and I'll be specifying the damage of the rifle over here 
so let me set it to something like 10 the total inflicted damage will be the sum of the weapons damage and the ammo's damage all right i've already explained this in the quick start video so next you can assign fields like blood effects hit effects and all that so let me find a prefab for the blood that's just a simple particle effect and similarly we can give different hit effects for different layers so you can use this to create different sounds and particle effects when the ammo hits different types of surfaces all right so i'm not going to give those for this tutorial but you can go ahead and give that so now back in our weapon we can assign the ammo that we created to the weapon object okay so next you have things like firing settings and all that so here you can set the fire type to single or auto so for automatic guns like rifle the fire type should be auto and for other guns like sniper it should be single all right and there are a lot more settings so you can go over it and read the tooltip and adjust the values and all that if you want here you can assign things like audio for the rifle so let me actually assign those fire clip and the reload and trigger clip so trigger is the sound that will be played when the gun is out of ammo all right so we have set up the scriptable object so next we have to create the prefab for both weapon and ammo so let's go ahead and create that so we have an editor window to simplify the process of creating these prefabs so first let's create the prefab for the ammo so here using this window we can easily add things like trail effect rigid body and all that to the ammo if you want so for the model of the ammo i'll just create a simple spear the model won't be visible anyway because because the shot of the rifle will be really fast so i'll create a spear like this and i'll just change its scale to something really small like 0 0.01 all right and let me assign it over here and then i'll change its name to rifle ammo and we can give it a trail effect if you want by assigning a trail game object so just to show you how it looks i'll show you the trail of one of the ammos that comes with the asset by default so let me go inside game and item prefab so here i'll just drag and drop this ammo and if you expand it here we have the trail so it's just a simple trail renderer so you can use any trail asset that you have so for this demo i'll just drag and drop this trail and next we can specify the path at which the prefab should be created so i'll just browse and select the folder that we created all right and then i'll hit on create ammo prefab okay so the prefab for the ammo should be created here and we can assign it to our scriptable object okay so next let's create the prefab for the weapon so again i'll open up the shooter prefab setup window all right and here first we have to give a weapon model so let me just find a model for the rifle i have a model here and then i'll change its name to rifle and finally i'll set the path and click on create weapon prefab okay so for the prefab of the weapon we also have to set up a few things so here we have to set up things like the spawn point of the ammo the flash the aim reference and all that so first you have to check if the model of the weapon is facing the right direction in the prefab so here this is a z axis right this is a forward axis but the weapon is facing like this so it's not facing the right direction 
so we can select the model of the weapon and rotate so that faces the forward axis of the prefab okay so here we just have to rotate it by minus 90 degrees all right and now you can see that it is facing in the right direction okay so next we have to set up things like aim reference ammo spawn point and all that so the aim reference will be at the tip of the weapon over here so i'll just place it over here like this okay we can look from multiple angles and make sure it's placed correctly so next let's position the ammo spawn point so the ammo spawn point will be the point from which the ammo will be spawned so in this case it will also be at the tip of the weapon just like the aim reference so we can just copy the position of the aim reference and paste it for the ammo spawn point and even for the flash the position will be the same as aim reference and ammo spawn point so i'll also paste the position and place it at the tip of the gun okay so on the prefab we have a script called shooter weapon object so here you have to assign the reference of the rifle scriptable object so let me go ahead and assign that all right so yeah we have created the prefab for the weapon so now we can go ahead and assign it onto the scriptable object of our weapon okay so i'll drag and drop it to the model prefab field so yeah for each weapon we have to create a scriptable object for the weapon and ammo and also a prefab for the weapon and ammo all right so i'll just leave these game objects from here and let me try assigning the newly created rifle to our player so i'll find the fighter code script and i'll assign the rifle as a default weapon and let me try playing the game so the rifle is equipped by default but its position is not correct right so this is because we have not set the spawn position for the rifle so to set this we have to select the weapon from here and find a position that looks good okay so from here we have to select the rifle parent object so that's very important do not select the model inside the parent make sure to select the parent game object and then try to place it so that the rifle is in the hand of the player okay so i'll spend some time to place this properly all right i'm not going to spend too much time here to try and get this perfect but you can spend more time to make it as perfect as you want all right so i'm just happy with this so now we have to copy the position and rotation of the rifle game object onto a scriptable object of the rifle so first i'll copy the position and then i'll copy the rotation okay so now if we restart the game the player should hold the rifle properly by default okay so yeah that looks all right we can fine-tune this more if you want by using IK settings so I'll also show you that but first let me check if the weapon is working so yeah the weapon is working fine so now let's look at how to use the IK settings to fine-tune this so you can use IK to 
improve things like aiming pose and all that so for some weapons the hand position at the idle pose might not look good at the aim pose right so you can adjust things like this by adjusting the IK at the aim pose so let me show you how to do that so first we have to place the character at the aim pose so that we can adjust its IK so for that I'll select the player and I'll find the shooter fight script so yeah over here we have buttons for enforcing aim or idle pose and all that so here while keeping the player in the aim pose we can try adjusting the IK of the weapon so I'll select the rifle and under IK settings under default IK settings I'll open the aim IK data since we want to change the IK of the aim and then let me try adjusting this left hand so that it is placed properly so I'll change its Z so that it's placed like this and then we can also change its X a bit right again I'm not trying to be perfect here since I don't want to make the tutorial too long but you can spend more time to try and get it perfect okay so yeah this is how our weapon looks so i'll stop the video here thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video